Ah, another glorious day, and we're going to be going out to pick up a couple of lots, uh, mostly two. Uh, there's going to be a PS3 lot that actually has some pretty good stuff in it, and then there's a gentleman that's going to be over in the Finley area that we're meeting up with to hopefully be able to get some good stuff off of that, and you're going to basically see why this lot at the very end is really good. So, with that being said... We're going over into Lima and just to meet up with someone to pick up a good lot of PS3 games. So, so with that being said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so bit of change of plan. I didn't record, but it uh, ended up being way more. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to the house. We're going to go through everything and I will show you what we got for well over 2.30. So I'll see you back in just a sec. Here it is, <laughs> in all of its boxed-up glory, but right now I hadn't really gotten everything out of the box. But I had some boxes that were in my car, and I essentially had to use all of that. But, uh, yeah, this was an incredible lot that I picked up. And originally I was just going to pick up the PS3 stuff, and I'll show everything off individually as well. But there, of course, need to be games that are needing to be resurfaced. But after I saw the stuff that he had for the PS1 and the PS2, and they do have systems, I just have them in the car still. But yeah, this was uh, this was an incredible lot to pick up. And I'm still waiting on the other guy to message me back. But they haven't messaged me yet, so we'll have to wait and see. But right now... Let's take a look to see what I ended up getting in this lot. And here's everything that I currently have inside at the moment. As I said, there's a PS1, like the second model, the small, that has like a uh, glacier blue controller with it. And then there was a PS2 that had an aftermarket controller. Uh, pretty much all of those had hookup cables, but I'm just... Was mostly interested in the game stuff. The systems, I'll probably end up getting rid of those for dirt cheap. But... You'll see, including in that little binder right there, why this was definitely worth a really good deal for it. So the main stuff that I went to get was the PS3 games, and of course there's Dragon's Crown, uh, there was like a copy of Vindicta, which does have the manual. Most of these, I believe, have the manuals with them. And there's stuff like Occupus Trip, uh... Dead Space as well, the Mortal Kombat uh, Complete Edition, which that does not have the manual with it, unfortunately. And then, of course, there's other good stuff, too. Of course, uh, Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition, and then this one I don't ever see around very often because that was what I believe is the last football game that 2K Sports actually put out. But the really big stuff, and the main reason I ended up spending a lot more, and you can already see immediately, Suikoden 4 and 5, uh, they do actually have the second one for PS1, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get it off of him, but he pretty much spent a lot on it. And heck, there's like Persona 3, there's a, you know, a Grandia 2 that's in there as well, most of like the Dynasty Warriors. Persona 4, that does have the soundtrack with it. And he also had a second copy of Godfather, but I pretty much left that with him. But yeah, this was this was quite the lot overall, and that is complete. That is the steelbook for uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. And I didn't originally see the soundtrack in there, but it was in the copy of Deadly Alliance, so that ended up working out pretty good. And look at that. Smackdown, here comes the pain. That is... Uh, that's what a lot of people say is one of their favorite wrestling games of all time. And then nothing really too major in the PS1 stuff. Of course, you got Crash Bandicoot Warped, uh, Final Fantasy Anthology, just as like another big one, and then random copy of Mayhem. And there's a second copy of Dynasty Warrior 4, because that one has everything in there with it. And a couple of memory cards as well, but some of you are probably curious, what is in the folder? Well, I didn't get to look at everything that was in here, but as soon as I open up the very top, you're going to see how crazy this is. Of course, there's the loose copy of Suikoden. He did not have the case of manual, unfortunately. Uh, Grand Steam Saga, I don't know if I have this one yet. And of course, he pretty much had all four discs for Final Fantasy IX. Twisted Metal, uh, Monster Rancher, uh, Episode 2, Tekken 2 with Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. 
and the Zone 99 and uh, Knockout Kings 2000. There's like Disgaea, loose copy of Rogue Galaxy, Demon Stone, Force Unleashed. Like it basically just keeps going, even that full game there. And of course, uh, Final Fantasy X, X2 Remaster, and then Dynasty Warriors 4 Empires. So in total, the amount that I showed you here, minus the consoles that are in the card still, that was over 230, and I mean, the amount of stuff that's in that lot is pretty much going to pay for itself, and it's going to mostly be trade bait, but I'm just happy to be able to get that before everyone else. And then anybody that's watching, uh, if you're in a small town or big city, wherever you are, don't lose hope, because usually around the holidays, you'll find good deals, and they're out there. You just got to keep looking. Thank you very much for watching. I love every one of you for checking out the videos. And if you are new to the channel, check out some of the other stuff that I've got here. And also sub if you want to. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Love you. Happy holidays, whatever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next video. High five.